I mean, you know, Leah, what do you do when the passion and desire um, has been sucked out of a relationship? One person wants to remain in it and another person wants to leave. So let's start your reading and I'm going to explain to you exactly what goes on. Hello, Leo. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys. Have you guys a do more? So this is your general, general love reading for uh, March. Going to take a look and see who's showing up in your reading. See what they're thinking and feeling regarding yourself. And of course, vice versa. Guys, feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading. Okay, it is time stamped. Uh, that should be in the description bar below. Uh, it should say start of reading. Just click on that. It'll bring you to the star. This section is really for those that just kind of uh, prefer to see me shuffle on camera. Okay, as I always say, please just take what resonates and uh, leave what doesn't. And if this isn't your story, if I don't pick up on your story, stick around as there sometimes... You know, it could be messages throughout that jump out and speak to you. And of course, just use this as a guide to support you and move you in the direction of where you're wanting to go. Because ultimately, we we create our own reality. Okay, so give me a moment to just finish laying the card. Okay, so I'm just going to take this in. Okay, so Leah, let's start your reading. And of course, take whatever side resonates with you guys and picking up, does this be in your side, the person that you're dealing with over here? But you could always flip switch whatever side just kind of resonates. All right, so just looking in the past, there seems to be some form of change that happened. Uh, most definitely for you, Leo, a change in this in some way. Doesn't It didn't affect how... Or what you provided or what you how you was contributing to this relationship maybe you know okay let's start that again whether that's kind of a financial situation where you support this person financially doesn't have to be um maybe you're the breadwinner that type of setup doesn't have to be but there is still this giving you provide and giving to this person that could be emotional support it's more of a, a material tangible type of um element to it but there has been this change that you feel. This, um, I don't want to use the word disconnect because I don't feel like it. I'm going to use the word disconnect for want of a better word. But there is still this disconnect or this change in this for you. It doesn't take away from the fact that you still was providing or giving how you used to. Um, for them, they acknowledge, there was this acknowledgement of them losing this or about to lose it or that. Or them thinking that they was losing. Or there's an element of loss to this. Which is making them feel, or made them, again, this is the past. Made them, you know, focus on what was going wrong, what wasn't going right. That type of thing. Um, because they still had this strong emotional connection to you. Strong emotional connection to you. Bringing it to where it currently is as it stands. is stemming from the past, really. It's stemming from the dynamics of this change that's happened so now it's like how do I explain that it's like we've got this I don't want to use the word codependent because I don't feel like it's to that degree but it's definitely this supportive dynamic going on here again going back to this past as well it's showing up in terms of the dynamics of how it is now and it's more about you supporting this person whether that's emotionally physically whatever the case may be there's a dynamic of support here and on the surface, it's like, yeah, I'm happy with that. I'm cool with that. I'm content with that. Things are okay. That could be a mask as well. What you show the outside world, um, your external. But really, is that you know, is very different to what's actually going on behind the scenes. There's a lack of passion. I feel like the passion is being sucked out of this relationship because this is in your challenge. What love is in your challenge, and maybe that's what's changed. Maybe that's what has been recognized as having changed. Yeah, there's no longer this passionate desire that there possibly once was. And that's kind of caused you to 
kind of um mm. uh, it's not pulled back as such it's stop if that makes sense we've got the hangman so it's this stopping not moving uh, forward again it's going back to this yes i'm still providing yes i'm still giving to this supporting this person but there's a there's a there's a change there there's a change there and your person feels it as well your person feels it they're feeling like there's been some form of of course there's a change which makes them feel like i don't want to use the word unjust but they're just not being treated fairly things are not good for them in this relationship because yes you're providing but i don't have that sense of connection that we once what well, that we once had and this person is focusing so much on how they're not being handled correctly or how it's having an impact on them and their emotions and how they feel that's getting in the way of what's really going on here which is this lack of passion i feel like you guys have gotten comfortable there has been some form of uh, comfortability or this person has gotten comfortable to the point where they've not kept you on your toes they've not made I mean you know maybe you're both contributing to it maybe you're both contributing to it but there is this definite lack so the dynamic of the relationship has changed the dynamic of the relationship has gone to a more of a it's not friends with benefits it's not that it's more of a no, I don't want to use that. I don't want to say brotherly, sisterly type of setup. Um, it, it is changed. If you guys are resonating with this, you'll know what it is that I'm saying. It's changed. Your your focus is your 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 wanting your wanting an emotional connection. Your, I mean, emotional fulfillment. Yes, you want elements of what this connection already has, but you also want the passion that comes with that. You also want the passion and the, you know, the desire and the romance and all of that stuff. There's a lack of that in here, in this relationship. And that's what you're wanting. That's at the forefront of your mind. And it's like, well, if I have to lose this, there's an element of you feeling or knowing that you have to go through some form of loss in some way, in some way. Now, I would say that you could be ready for that, but this person is most definitely not. Because they wanted to hold on to this, regardless of how challenging it gets. Because they feel they can actually have the Ten of Pentacles with you. You know, they can get it back to how it was. Not even so much get it back to how it was. I feel like this person is focusing on so much on the missing elements of what a true connection is or a fulfilling connection is. It's like... Yes, it looks good. Yes, we've got the house. Yes, we've got the car. Yes, we've, we're exclusively dating. Yes, people know it's you and I. And that's fine for them. Where for you, it, there's more to it. And that's what they're wanting back. And you're like, I want emotional fulfillment. I want, just, I want, I want, it, I want it all. You know, I want it all. So hopefully, usually we, we kind of move into the extended version of the reading. I will be implementing that once I get the website up, guys. So just look out for that. But um, as it stands, yes, as it stands. The, the thing is, is this, you know, this person is not willing to give up. And I feel like I just get this sense of tantrums arising to some degree when it comes to this person's response to you possibly leaving this or moving away from this. Yeah, and maybe not the friendship element to it, but definitely in a romantic sense, so to speak. They're not, they're not going to, yeah. So hopefully this is giving you some form of clarity. For those of you who don't know, I do, I do weekly singles and love readings. If that's something that interests you, as I say, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Other than that, guys, have a beautiful, beautiful day. And I shall see you next week.